Hey, what's going on ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to another Clash Royale video. In today's video, we are going to be doing some Retro Royale, see if we can't hit six wins in this challenge. I've done this a couple times already, I've got the four or five, you know, I, I actually four, I haven't got the fifth one yet. Uh, the fifth one, you do get the magical chest, and then the sixth one, you do get the reward plus whatever the, the prize is from the grand challenge. A retro challenge, I should say. It's not really a, a grand challenge. because It's only a six-win challenge, which is kind of cool to think about. I mean, it's a six-win classic challenge almost because I think the cards match up to a, how many cards you would get in six wins in a classic. But anyways, we're going to see if we can't knock out all six uh, wins right here using a little bit of a variation deck. I should have probably showed you the deck before I hopped into one. We're going to face Yo Demand. We're kind of using a Hog Goblin hut deck and it's been working out really well to be honest i love the goblin hut really been using the goblin hut on my lower accounts we'll probably see another video here eventually on my lower account hey look at that saving the uh the goblin hut with some arrows right there <laughs> i love that he can uh that's gonna be definitely a good play for us right there we're gonna go ahead and play off our cannon play off our zapparoo right there and that's gonna work out really nice look at this guys boom and we're gonna get some goblins onto that tower doing some crazy damage right there and we should uh, be able to smack off this uh, musketeer. Boom! Look at that! I, see, this is why I love the Goblin Hut and love I love this deck so far. is because we have been doing some work right here. As you see, he's been just dropping off troops left and right right there. But look at that! Still maintaining that uh, that advantage right there. Watch this, guys. Boom! No sirree! You ain't doing nothing to my tower. You're going to have to hit him with a no-no right there. And we're going to have some goblins go ahead and head over to that tower and get some work in. Putting their work in. Boom. Getting some chip damage. That's all I've been doing, really, guys. I kind of play my hog rider last minute type deal thing. Uh, look at this pool. Look at this pool. Look at this pool. We're going to have the zap there. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, that was a little bit scary. A little bit scary had that, um, that mini P.E.K.K.A. thrown behind that. But that, that, it worked out pretty good for us. Actually, very good deployment right here. Um, I'm going to have to say GG well played right there. And uh, we should be able to mop up this. Mm, no problem. Ammo. Please drop off something else. Boom. He's not going to. That's okay. And we just arrow again. Once again, throwing down that arrow. Oh, whoa, we're battery's He's about to die, but that's okay. He's going to try to keep that pressure on us, though. But that's okay. Yeah, look at that. He's just... He just oh, he got this hog rider to be able to sneak on through. If he's got a freeze, this would be the time to use it. Oh, he got that Hog Rider sneak on through. That's... Oh, no, man. He caught me at Elixir Disadvantage. Right when the iPad hit 10%. I gotta like that, dude. You gotta like that. Uh, let's go ahead and drop the Goblin Hut. We haven't shown him Hog Rider yet in this combo. Uh, let's go ahead and throw off a Musketeer right here. And then get ready with a Zap. Uh, just in case. Look at this. Pop! <laughs> oh, snap! Oh, look at that. Oh, man. We can just drop off some... Uh, <laughs> look at this, guys. Oh my goodness, and we just get another Goblin Hut down. Oh my goodness, guys. Look at this just do work, man. Look at this just do work, and watch this fireball. Coming in. Everything's coming in hot. We're going to have to go cannon right here. Uh, boom, getting this down. And we're going to be able to zap all this, too, as well, I do believe. Boom, coming in. Boom. And we should take out that. Look at us doing work over there, guys. And the two Goblin Huts are going to work over there. Uh, just actually just keeping the pressure on on that upset tower. He's yeah, look at that He's gonna have to waste something right there. That's what we want. That's what we want guys We want him to waste that scar me. Look at this fireball guys fireball action coming in and hit it nice And then we should down and throw down our hog throw down this musketeer boom. Oh look at this. Oh snap coming in hot Coming in hot look at this. Hey look at that getting that tower down. That's what we talk about guys There's five wins so we get the magical chest reward. Let's see what we're gonna get guys. Let's see what we're going to get. From the magical chest, we're going to get that magical chest. That's awesome. That was a good game, man. I see. I love this deck, guys. One of the best decks, I think, for Retro Royale. Because nobody's expecting that Goblin Hunt. They think you're a spawner, so they set up for the spawner. But you're not really a spawner player. All right, here we go. 813 gold. That's awful, to be honest. Some Barbarians. Almost get those things to Bad Boys at level 12. Uh, some Rockets. Some Cannons. We'll really need some Epics here. We can get Epics off this next one. We haven't gotten any rares yet, have we? Nah. Oh, we're not going to get a legendary. Oh, that's unfortunate. But we are going to get some poison. We're almost being able to get the poison level uh, 6. Just a few more cards. 14, I think. And that was good magical chest. So let's go ahead and see if we can't finish this off with 6 wins, guys. So all I want to do is get 6 wins. Let's do it. Come on. Goblin goblin Hut for the win. Oh, we got a little bit of an interesting startup here. Okay. Oh, he's playing Goblin Hut. So let's... Oh, he's playing uh, in, um, Spawner. So we're going to have to... Uh, play our best here. Look at that push, though, on the left-hand side. Nay. 
I'm gonna have to drop off a cannon right here. And if I could fireball, I really want him to put down that, um... Hey, cannon, can you shoot something? Thank you. Uh, no, it's not gonna shoot anything because it's, uh, dumb and retarded. Come on now. Please drop off another, like, goblin hut or something. That'd be awesome, to be 100% honest. I'd actually really, really would enjoy you to do that. He's not going to, guys. He's not going to? Come on now. Oh, that's what I wanted, though, right there. That's what I wanted. Boom, and then we get ready with the zap. Nice. That works out really good, guys. Works out really good. He can keep coming in with that goblin uh, hut spam type deal. That's okay. We're working in on the other tower. Ooh, a little wizard action. So we're going to have to go cannon here. Oh, no. Oh, no. We're going to have to go arrows here. Arrows here. Arrows here. Boom. Boom. Hey, cannon. Cannon. The, the, the musketeer. Nope. Not going to happen. Uh, I mean, not the, the wizard. Shoot the wizard. God dang it. <laughs> but the cannon's going to do its job. Do its thing. Look at that. Goblin Hut still working on the opposite tower. We might throw a defensive Goblin Hut on the left-hand side, too, as well. He's going to have to start worrying about Yeah, let's go defensive Goblin Hut, too, as well. He's going to have to start worrying about that Goblin Hut coming in. Uh, see, this is what I'm talking about. Spawners, guys. They're okay to face, but now that we know that he's got that witch too, I wonder if he was trying to do that witch glitch back in the day. Like back in the day, you could do a witch glitch, and uh, it was really cool to be on 100% honest. Let's go ahead and fireball back there. Uh, hopefully, taking out almost taking out that spawner. Yeah, that works out pretty good. And then we can go ahead and drop off a hog rider here on this other side and get ready with a zap. See if he drops anything to defend. Uh, just not gonna drop anything. Wow. Okay. Questionable move from my man there. And we can go ahead and go here with all this, with the cannon. And then, yeah, get ready with everything, guys. This is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. Look at this zap. <laughs> Look at this fireball, too. Oh, boom. Oh, hit him with the crying face, guys. Let's go ahead and drop off another defensive goblin hut. I think this one's pretty much in the boog. Yeah, I think my main man's going to give up here. Yeah, I would give up if I were him, too, as well. Look at this goblin hut coming into action. Let's go ahead and throw some arrows down. Nice. We gotta forget, I gotta forget he has a minion horde too, so I've gotta uh, definitely recognize minion horde coming in. Uh, he might throw down that wizard here. There's the wizard. Let's go ahead and throw it. Zap, pop, boop. Alright, taking that all out. Look at that, guys. Beautiful work done right there with my man. That's okay. Look at this. He's gonna hit us with a good game. Good game. That was six wins from us, guys. Let's see if we can't get another one. Uh, yeah, we're gonna get two, uh, two crowns right there. Helping our crown chest. But boom, six wins. That's what I'm talking about. Six wins in the uh, Retro Royale Challenge. That is an in interesting deck, guys. Uh, let's see if it'll let me show my deck before we collect our reward. Uh, no, it's not. Let's go ahead and collect that. It's not going to let me show the deck, but we'll go ahead and go back and see the deck. Uh, let's collect the Retro Reward. War reward. Retro Royale <laughs> Reward. And uh, going to get some goblins. Not much cards. Goblin Gang. I do like Goblin Gang, though. Uh, and Fireball. Nice. I do uh, donate a lot of Fireballs to my clan members. So we just go in here, look at the, de the deck. That is the deck, guys. If you want to try that in Retro Royale, it works. It's really like a control deck. You really want to force your opponent to pick the side of your Goblin Hut. That way, now you can start loading up some goblins, especially if they throw down a giant, because now you can start having, like, mini goblins blow up. I throw the cannon in there to help with extra defense against, like, a hog. Three elixir. I mean, it's good. It's a good card for three elixir. A lot of people run Inferno Tower, guys, so now the goblin hut is really perfect, especially if they drop that Inferno Tower slightly on the right or left-hand side. You kind of pick where now you put your goblin hut, because now it won't be distracted as much, and now you can start throwing that hog rider in there. Really, the fireball, and you have three spells in there, fireball uh, arrow is that and fireball zap is pretty much my best combo to taking all our troops at once i see guy kept dropping off skeleton army just to see if he can't get to our tower same thing with that match uh, a couple losses here actually it was a uh, clan mate battles right there uh but as you see we use that deck six straight wins with that six and oh with that deck that was pretty good six oh deck and then uh boom yeah so that's gonna do it for today's video i hope you guys did enjoy let me know if you guys are enjoying the tips and tricks on the channel uh, let me know if you guys have gotten six wins in the Retro Royale Challenge, and if you gotten the Legendary from the Magical Chest. I don't think they give Legendaries from that Magical Chest. I don't know what the drop rate is on that Magical Chest, because uh, so far, last couple of challenges, I haven't gotten a Legendary from that Magical Chest that they give you. Like, it's like, purposely, they don't want you to have a Legendary. And I'm like, come on, man. Give me a Legendary, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm broke over here. Come on, help my uh, GoFundMe account for Clash Royale. But anyways, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. If you guys did enjoy, smash that like button. And I'm out, guys. Peace.